Assalamu alaikum guys. David Miller. Now I know he sounds like somebody who wears a Mr. Bean blazer. Thank you very much. Anything else? And has very long nasal hair. But au contraire, mon frere, it's quite the opposite. The Zionism is a form of racism. It's a, 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 an ideology which has been used to justify the ethnic cleansing of Palestinians. That's a genuine. In fact, he is a professor or was a professor of political sociology at the University of Bristol. That was until he decided to actually practice what he preaches and grow a backbone. Now that is not something which is allowed by politicians, journalists and academics because we don't do that nowadays until it is within the paradigm of the government and the social structure we're living in. In other words, he decided to speak against Islamophobia. But they also uh, have to encourage the idea uh, of, um, of, the, of the radical Muslim and that the Palestinian opposition is not a national liberation movement, it is instead it's radical and Islamic. And of course Zionism, yes that's right, the two kryptonites of the Western world. You know, I'm sorry about that, but Zionism is an ideology which in my view is a racist ideology and we should be campaigning to end that ideology. We all know that the Zionist lobby is quite powerful in the West and for three years alongside the student unions in the University of Bristol they've been working tirelessly to get rid of Dave. The uh, QC's report which was commissioned by the University and which the University said had concluded that none of my comments were unlawful actually went further than that and it said explicitly that my comments were not anti-Semitic and it would not engage the Equality Act 2010 in any way. So in fact they amassed petitions, yeah one of them got 9,000 and the other one got a measly flipping, it hasn't even reached 900 yet. But it was the false accusation of anti-Semitism that finally seeped through the gaps. When Ironically, he didn't criticize the Jewish people at all. In fact, he criticized Israel. And this is a problem that we see nowadays that criticizing Israel is being conflated to criticizing Jewish people, which I would say that this is anti-Semitism. But even if we were to push that to the side, it does raise three questions. Yeah, namely the first one, what happened to freedom of speech mate? Secondly, do students now have to worry about offending Grandma Israel as well as paying their £27,000 in fees? And will this encourage students to join this pathetic university? If you're in the mainstream and you want to stand up for certain causes, it's got to be within the acceptable so societal framework. Yeah, you've got global warming, LGBT, and of course you got women's rights but this is conditional as long as it's the Muslim women yeah. But of course you won't get them talking about the Uyghurs yeah in China, the Kashmiris in India or even mainstream Muslim population in India now as well. And of course Palestinians. It was a breath of fresh air to see somebody like this stand up for such people especially in this day and age. But as if this legend hadn't done enough when he was asked what do you think is going to happen in the future is what he said. What does the future hold for you? future for me uh, is that I will continue my work on Zionism. Uh, I will intensify my work on Zionism. So guys, videos like this and of course I started a petition yet. Yeah? There's been petitions going around the school for academics but there's been none for the general public. So I started one today mate yeah, this evening and Flipping in a number of hours, mashallah, it's already crossed one and a half thousand. Yeah, so I'm gonna put the link in the description. I'm gonna put it in the featured uh, comment as well, guys. Spread it. Why? Because we wanna put across three main messages. Number one, the hypocrisy of freedom of speech. Number two, that. It is not okay to fire someone just because they're defending Muslims and defending the Palestinian people. And number three, quite simply for fee paying students to take their money elsewhere. Yeah, there's no point going for education when the education you're going to get is warped. Yeah, 
just so they can uh, please Israel and give you flipping a warped education and leave you in was it like 28,000 pounds a year in debt it's ridiculous mate yeah so respect to this professor let's leave it there guys until next time <laughs> Assalamu Alaikum